Okay, um, I was posting on a forum and um, something came to me that I thought um, I need to think about this a bit more. So I'm going to think and speak at the same time and see what happens. Um, so I was thinking about um, how I feel about myself um, and like being trans and all that stuff. Um, I kind of realised that I don't, on a day to day basis, think about being trans any more than just looking on YouTube, seeing if anyone's uploaded anything or um, going on this forum like pretty much constantly. Um, the last site because I haven't got anything else to do and I want to be helpful. So, um, apart from that, I don't see myself as being trans. I sort of forget that I'm trans. Um, but, sort of, for a brief moment, I thought, does that mean I'm not really trans? You know, I've got that bit of doubt in there. Um, sort of the natural, you know, maybe I made a mistake, sort of thing. Um, but I thought about it, and it's not forgetting because I'm comfortable in my body. It's forgetting that my body isn't right. If that makes sense. You know, when I'm like this, I don't feel that my dick is made out of plastic or that I have too much up here. Um, I just feel like any other short guy. Um, I'm not aware of the differences between me and the person standing next to me, if that makes sense. And I don't feel female, I just feel me and male. Um, but there was a point where I was aware that I was trans all the time. But now the only times I'm aware is when I can feel that something's wrong like if I'm not binding and I'm on the train and it's bumpy um, I can feel like movement or if my packer is doing something crazy and I'm I, I'm not comfortable going in the college toilets um, so it was actually slightly painful today the way it was sitting because I had to run for the bus um, so that made me aware because I could feel that it wasn't right and if I was a male I wouldn't have any problem with just you know, readjusting that stuff down there but because I'm seen as female by them that would look weird um, you know, I think I had crabs or something which I don't have um, so that's like the only time I and um, like that time that happens 12 times a year you know, that thing yeah um so apart from those that's the only time that i sort of recognize the fact that i was not born correctly obviously i'm not happy with how i am you know, i do want tea and top surgery because i'll never have to think about it but i don't see myself as having to consciously think about these male things that I'm doing. Um, so apart from the times when I can tell that there's obviously something wrong with my body in fitting the male image, um, I'm trying to be careful not to say that you know, bodies with tits, vaginas and oestrogen are wrong. You know, there's perfectly fine on someone who up here wants those things. Um, just like there's nothing wrong with penises and flat chests and testosterone and beards and whatever. It just, on the right people, <laughs> they're perfectly fine. On the wrong people, you know, it's like this shoe and this shoe are perfectly fine. But when they're this way round, they're not alright. When they're this way round, perfect. Um, on the topic of shoes, I, I found that if you 
put the laces on a shoe, like starting with this bit underneath, um, it makes this bit look longer. Because that really annoys me. Because um, I buy kids' shoes, I it makes me look like I have extra small feet because that's so stumpy. Um, uh, so yeah, that's sort of. I just wanted to think about and like record how I feel with being trans on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, also, I was really brave when I was buying those shoes. I bought boxers in a shop with a real person there. Um, I really like them actually. They're like a bit tacky and shabby. I can't actually find them. But, um, yes. And please don't look at the age label. But yes, I have they're like drunks. So I normally just wear um like boxer boxes. Like the longer ones. But I actually I don't know if they're like different styles, I think they're just a lot smaller. Like there's a lot of difference between the two. Yes, I am that small. I'm five foot two. So, um, just sort of a bit of an update, how I feel about things, the fact that I have actually managed to buy some underwear in a real shop and saw a real person and it was all cool. So, you know, I don't know if she was reading me male or female. She was just like, are these shoes size five? Is that right? I was like, yep. Yeah. Do you want this bag or this bag? Have that one, cheap one, free one, good. And yeah, that was it. So, all of you people out there are worried and can't buy things online, just go to your shop, buy yourself some boxes, and feel awesome. Okay, see ya.